it just makes me feel special, you know? Hello humans, my name is Dale Kingsmill and we're coming up pretty soon to Friday the 13th. I'm not sure if any of you know this, but I was actually born on Friday the 13th. Now this one coming up isn't mine, of course, mine was in August, but it has awakened that usual fondness in me. It's actually kind of weird because there's this huge superstition, at least in the Western world, towards Friday the 13th. I've ended up actually really liking 13 as a number and often do actually think of it as lucky which is a bit weird. I actually, we found uh, a home video recently and on, on the particular tape that we found that we were watching through, my birth was on it, well not my birth, bleh. but there was footage from the hospital just a little while after I had been born. And in the footage, my auntie Sue has brought me a black balloon with the number 13 on it. And in the video, my brother, okay, who's three years old at this point, he is just so not interested in the new human being in the room. Excuse you, Reese. Instead, no, he's climbing up over various relatives in order to try and reach the balloon that's floating around the room. That was my balloon! And he couldn't even give me the tiniest bit of attention. Ugh, rude. And actually, when I was a kid, when I played hockey as a kid, I somehow ended up being number 13. There was the number 13 was the back of my jersey. And that's probably when I started really getting on board with this whole 13 thing. The first Friday the 13th birthday where I fully embraced it was when I was 11 turning 12. And for that birthday party, I actually, we went out and we got like, black tablecloths and, and all these sequins that were shaped like witches and bats. And I had some friends over and we were having a party and I'm pretty sure that on that night there was actually a bushfire that was pretty close to my grandparents' house. And speaking of things in this country that want to kill my relatives. And my grandparents have a lot of cars at their house because my granddad used to be an auto mechanic, auto wrecker person. And so we got the phone call while I had this party and everyone in the house who could drive was basically called out to grandma and granddad's place so that they could help move all the cars just in case this bushfire was going to come through. The last time I actually had a birthday that was on Friday the 13th was when I was turning 17 and I'm 21 now. And so I think last year sometime I watched when the next one was going to be and I looked it up it's so not till I'm 28 what is that I don't want to have to wait that long before another Friday the 13th birthday what come on so the pattern seems to be I don't know like five years six years five years 11 years 11 years is a really long time to wait this year I demand that my birthday shift from whenever it's gonna be to Friday Right now. You getting this universe? You writing this down somewhere? Rearrange the calendar, please. So yeah, anyway, that's something you might not have known about me, that I was born on Friday the 13th, and thus am probably immune from bad luck, is what I'm gonna go with, even though we know from recent events with technology and the sun that that's not true. What's something that's a bit unusual about you that people don't necessarily know? Leave me a comment telling me, because I'd be interested. Tell me the things. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button or perhaps shared it on Twitter or Facebook or your social media website of choice. You can also subscribe to this channel for more content from me every single week. And in the meantime, that's it. I'm done. Email this to your grandma and I will see you guys some other time. Actually, the whole way through that tape, he kind of ignores my existence. Well then.